Hello my friends, welcome to the, my video. Uh, today I want to talk about A Thousand Brains, which is an amazing book from Jeff Hawkins. I got some summary for that, so uh, what is important for me in this book? Uh, I got many more subjects from there like uh, cortical columns, spikes, and accents, Dimitris, which is in neurons, some activity. But I want to go step by step, okay? I'm, I'm just sorry for if, if, if the sounds in, uh, in my play is disturbing you. I'm so sorry for it. But I will be very clear for that, right? So first, I will start. What is consciousness and what is intelligence? This is important uh, because if you don't know about consciousness or the intelligence, then we can't go to another topic to understand what is turning around these topics. Well, first, uh, I want to speak about our brain, uh, what is part of our brains, so how, how, does they, how does they work there? We'll learn all of them, okay? First, I want to talk about eternal brain, which is our old brain. It works like primitively, okay? Just eating food, sleeping, and doing childs, uh, making childs and and just there is some uh, entertainment and more things it's doing fun there okay but it is uh, it is like emotional brain okay it's just uh, adding there's some emotion uh, so when it when it works uh, it's just sending some alarm to the our neocortex like uh, emotional sensors, so sensi sensational sensors and the neocortex just going aims with this way. Well, uh, if you talk about briefly about uh, neocortex, we can say neocortex is the cognitive brain which is working cognitively and uh, efficiently. So I can, I can say when your older brain is okay uh, for, the, for the primitive primitive needs or requires, uh, then your uh, neocortex is working slowly, slowly. Well, this is my idea. I learned from this book. Uh, Jeff Hopkins is always uh, explaining it like that, so I saw there. Well, uh, the another point about neocortex. In neocortex, we have 150,000 uh, cortical columns, and each, each cortical column has layers, so each, so uh, billions of neurons, and each neurons have axons, uh, dimitris, which is input, and across axons is the uh, axon is the output, and we have their synapses, which is connected with the between neurons. So between neurons is not between axon and dimitris. So uh, and this all connectivity is working with the synapses, okay? But the another point I want to talk about uh, spikes. Sparks is just affecting me too much than others because sparks is like a potential energy. It's just uh, creating there some kind of uh, energy and all this information floating in, in neurons, which is like in, in Demetrius, we, we have many more things in, uh, in this point, like in neurons. Uh, and we can say all this, all this, your, your top and your uh, feeling, everything is just like prediction. Well, another point we can talk about reference frames, uh, which is they are always giving, giving answer for the, for the some question like where and who. Uh, where, oh, sorry, not who, where and what. So where is for the for the reference frames uh, about uh, map map of the reference frames which is three dimensional there is yeah, so there are have three dimensional the dimensional this like just think x y z uh, we have three dimension and all our tactiles auditory and uh, our visual uh, inputs is coming there like that and. So if you think about our visual uh, problems, we can say first input is coming from retinas and it's going there and the stacking their 
some kind of effects and it's just going visual one and there's some kind of basic like easy uh, detail is so the looking for easy details and when you when it goes to the goes to the uh, second place which is visual two it's complexity is starting there and it's going like sparks into the neurons and neurons and going uh, going to the in reference frames and modeling cr uh, modeling happening there like modeling we're creating modeling so we have many more models I told you 150,000 particle columns but we don't know how much we are using in day okay so normally working math physic and and other science or you have some history with your mother so you have some memory with your father and with someone it's all about uh, about cortical columns and modeling. Well, uh, if sometimes you want to, uh, if if sometimes if sometimes you want to remember something like, uh, so just think your mom, uh, your mom previously told you something like, but you don't you don't remember what she said. Well, just you predicting something there, right? Uh, you just evaluating everything every information every input then you just predicting oh my my mom told me something like that but sometimes sometimes you can you can predict false well we're talking about it like your neurons is uh, growing up but the false neurons like your prediction is bad you, you can think like uh, you can think like you didn't learn information good okay so you didn't get information good like then your some neurons is growing up but some neurons is not growing it's just staying down and what happening there your false beliefs or your false information is just creating there some uh, problem for your life but it's some something like we saying just think uh, if you have thousand data uh, and so in one hand if we have thousand data in another hand we if we have like one million data uh, it, it can be images or it can be in some words anyway it's not important for now just uh, look for the balance of them so the one million information will give us little stronger uh, idea stronger help to predict something better because uh, so we would so we would learning we, we would learn too much better than the in other hands it will help us in the future right we can think like that uh, so it would help us to think better uh, well uh, the another point I want to talk about future okay the old topics is uh, so uh, also I'm sorry I forget <laughs> I want to talk about also uh, I told where is answering to you about reference frames which is three dimension so like you can say your tactiles uh, feeling like you just touching somewhere like just think you are in a room and there is dark uh, and you just you just searching there your lamp how to open it right you, you're looking for the key but sometimes if you think you just searching it and you just finding it like you just you just opening it you just going on it but what do you think you didn't so you didn't see anything there right how, how you can find it so it's all reference frames uh, like a model it's no it knows all about this uh, place like about map of the, this point well for that you know where is it because you didn't see with your eyes but you, you can feel it you can feel where is it right You're just looking like you searching which places sometimes you have some obstacles there but you just searching it and and finally you're going to find it right so it, it is the way you just uh, your model is checking the places because uh, there have some data and you're feeling tactiles and there is a way so many more things okay so now I want to speak about future what will be happen in the future future will be amazing uh, I think machines will do their many more things but uh, I'm always saying so I'm interested with the consciousness intelligence and the machines this is three uh, topic which is my triangle I'm just turning around them and I'm supporting with the 
uh, with the philosophy. So I'm also interested with neuro neuro so neuroscience, neurobiology, and neuropsychology or psychology, which is helping to me to create their theory to understand all this stuff. Uh, normally, I'm interested with machine learning. Uh, the machine learning is the important concept to give machines some education so they can learn many more things and so you can teach in some point but uh, so end of all they will start to learn but uh, so I, I want to be clear at that point for what you know so as I mentioned before believe me we didn't know about uh, intelligent like what because no self-driving cars, which is Tesla or another company, so all they are saying AI, artificial intelligence. Well, I will not be crazy for these words, but if you check generally, you'll understand this is not artificial intelligence. This is not intelligent machines. They are just some robots, which is they are working in Mercedes, which is the company in Germany, car company, and in Tesla or in NASA or in somewhere. This machine is working there, but. They are not uh, multi uh, multi aspects, okay? They are not they are not like multi aspects. Just they are doing some works like they can walk or they can check something, but they cannot work in the same time with the many more things. They are just working with some knowledge, with some knowledge. Just, but if you check human brain, we have hundred fifty thousand uh, cortical column and. Uh, our biologic brain is working with energy and with kind of things so just don't compare with the electricity or fiber cable okay it's different a little bit but okay we copying everything from our brain but the biologic brain is needs some foods for create their energy so it is another topic okay in the future I want to talk about it but for now just I don't want to speak about it well uh, we, we can discuss in the future okay for that so what I want to tell the future I believe we will we will create their, some moral obligations for the machines to live together with them because uh, I believe evolution is bringing us in different point uh, if you check your ancestors so uh, you'll see there uh, they didn't the, so they didn't learn anything more like us because the time is different uh, in their times uh, so I mean I'm talking about previous uh, they were they were lived with with uh, shortage uh, information uh, little information and they didn't do anything there so more like us so we are now creating company like NASA and Jack Hype and uh, Roscosmos and we are going to some so moon and we are going universe we just checking around this place we're sending some rocket we have some technology right like web services and uh, clothing and many more stuff but if you check uh, to our previous section which is I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about our assistors they they really uh, within the more things like us anyway so the point future machines will be I believe will be consciously because uh, we can create it right if so if you if you put them uh, more sensors like we have sensors like what auditory uh, visual sensors like then tactile sensors uh, but yeah we have so we are, we are taking smells from our nose but we have five but seven but so just think the i'm talking about machines we can put machines many more sensors because we don't have some limitless limit right so we are human we are biologic things like we are we are so we are uh, so like genes like <laughs> like dna machines okay but if you check the if you check to the uh, machines it will be like mechanically and we can put there many more sensors it can hear it can text smell it's not important <laughs> for the machines but it can see very good and it can it can do very many more things with it right we can put there hundred sensors with different knowledge with different uh, with different special uh, 
special like helping uh, special things like uh, I don't remember how to explain it but yeah we can put there many more sensors and they can work better than us so in the future and if you put consciousness there with I'm talking about consciousness like what you know it's time series which is we are talking like awareness awareness just think uh, so you were think about one plan uh, five minutes ago and you were you were start to you were start to uh, you were start to went the end of the point and you remembering now uh, what did you what did you plan uh, what did you did plan there so five minutes ago it's awareness and we're talking about it like time series and we can say this is consciousness okay so in machine learning also have time series so if you have this uh, range of the times and if you are awareness for them like if you remember everything better then you have consciousness so I'm just talking easy way okay I can explain to you with many more knowledge but uh, in the future I want to do it because it's a little bit big topics if you if you talk about it right if you discuss anyway in the future I believe we will be galactic uh, societies uh, so we'll go another and other stars maybe so and we will leave there I believe the Mars will be our first point because we are just checking uh, water and, and other livable uh, things in Mars uh, because in Mars uh, the situation is not uh, good now to understand how to live there so we are just looking uh, heritable or you can talk like uh, we are just looking for the um, uh, habitable, like to live there, right? If, if there is unhabitable places, then how we can live there? So we need to we need to check first with the machines. So just think, some uh, robotic machines can work there, can build something uh, because they don't need uh, oxygen, <laughs> they don't need some uh, food, and they can work maybe with the cloud system. So we can create there some. Uh, things like our so their uh, their brain connectivity so brain I'm talking like microchip system to connectivity with the clouds and we can do some kind of things in the future uh, this experiments will give them will give them fasting fasting but it is not fascinating okay so uh, I'm not talking about mysterious I'm just talking about reality in the future it can be okay just don't worry about that it's uh, so it's some way the final solution for us uh, because uh, why I'm talking like that uh, the reality if you check uh, like hundred years ago nobody can predict today will be our computers our phones and they will be very small thing so so nobody just can predict it but in the future, just we are just going some prediction. Okay, we don't know what will happen, but we believe our beliefs about uh, our beliefs is going about uh, about uh, artificial intelligence or learning learner machines will be there, and they will help us. So maybe you can say uh, they are some obstacle for us, like they are preventing us to live in the world. Like maybe they will. They will kill us with some technology. We'll just don't worry about it because our evolution also will will continue at the same time. So uh, it will be balanced. So because if if we see them, they are doing some crazy things. Then we will we will be also crazy for them. So it's some way, guys. Well, okay, uh, it's all. Uh, allow allow this man, which is Jeff Hopkins. Uh, I was trying to explain these things, so it is so it is very difficult, really, if you check, because the the it is the very important topics for the future, and uh, how, how how I can gonna tell you. So uh, so if you check this book, you will understand me. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I hope you like my summary. Okay, for that. So my evaluation. Uh, so my evaluate a uh, little bit maybe can be limitless, but. Uh, you can check it okay just don't worry 
Have a good time. Thank you so much for joining. I will do for all books.